Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Here today showing you how to replace the alternator on a 2007 Toyota Camry. Uh, this engine is the 2AZFE engine, which is found in many uh, Toyota's products, the Matrix, the Pontiac Vive, the Camrys, uh, probably the Scion TCs as well. Uh, this should work for the 2006 to 2012 Camry. However, like I said, this will also work for any Toyota product that has this engine in it as the alternators are all going to be right here in the front. So obviously, you know, some engine bays will be different, but as far as getting the alternator off, it should be about the same process. Make sure to just check the title and the link, in the, or not the link, but check the description. I'll try and put all the years of this, you know, for what this applies to, but fortunately, this alternator is pretty easy to get to. There's only a few wiring connectors. You gotta take off the belt. Now would be a good time to change your serpentine belt if it is bad. But um, yeah, the first thing we're gonna do, obviously, is to disconnect the battery. So let me set you guys up and we'll go on ahead and get that battery disconnected. All right, coming here to the battery. I'm gonna go ahead and just pop off this positive terminal cover. You should just Come off like that then you can go about this one of two ways you can take off this 12 millimeter nut right here and pull off all the cable together or you can just pull the entire terminal off which is what I'm gonna do and there's one 10 millimeter nut right here on the side just loosen it up should be pretty easy to do then go on ahead and remove this terminal and set it down to the side out of the way and that's all you'll need to do you don't just you don't need to disconnect the uh, negative terminal at all just have it set just like this all right moving over here to removing the alternator the very first thing you'll want to do is to remove the belt off of the alternator now if you can look straight down it's kind of hard for me to get an angle at but straight down right where i have my socket attached to uh, there's a what looks like a nut but it's not actually a nut it's it's made to accept a 19 millimeter socket it's just sitting just right here in this area just below the you know, if this is where the alternator mounts at the top, there's a bolt right next to it, and just directly below that, there is what looks like a nut. And it, it's not designed to come off, it's just designed to accept your 19 millimeter socket. That way, you can just simply push down on the tensioner and release the tension off of the belt. So you can see, I can push this down and see how the belt is loosening up. You just push it down enough, and then uh, go on ahead and remove the belt off of the alternator here. I do not suggest taking the belt off of anything else unless you're going to replace the belt at this moment. And you might want to actually do yourself a favor and take a picture of how this belt goes on or draw a diagram on a piece of paper or something like that. That way you don't get confused. All I'm going to do is loosen it enough just to take it off of the alternator and kind of just set it to the side. Starting with this connector, if you look just right here on this, this actually is broken, it just slid off, but you should be able to actually pinch this connector and pull it out of out of here like this. This actually should stay on there like that, but for some reason mine was broke, so you wanna go on ahead and squeeze that and pull that off, you can do that. Then next we can move up here to this, where the alternator gets its power from. There's a 10 millimeter nut right here. I'm going ahead and loosen and remove that nut. Don't lose this nut. I actually like to transfer this OEM style nut to the other alternator because the new alternators often don't come with the same style nut and I like these better because they secure better in my opinion. So going ahead and just lift that off. You can screw this back on here that way you don't lose it. Then you'll have this connector here, which also is very similar to this one. It just squeezes and pulls off. Just like so. There's a little tab right here that you push on the side to get it off. And then the last wire goes straight down to the bottom. It's not actually connected to the alternator at all, but it is in our way. So if you look just down here, let me see if I can get you a better, better angle at it. So the last wire we're looking at right here, actually is not even connected to the alternator, just, it's just held on by a little clip here. If you take a screwdriver 
kind of go in here with this and pry this off like that you can open it up and then you can just take the wire out of there like that and you shouldn't have to disconnect it down there it goes down to the ac compressor i'm not even going to disconnect it at all as you can see we should have enough room here to do what we need to do so all these are disconnected the last thing i'm going to do is take off this 10 millimeter right here that way this whole bracket will be free and i can move the wiring wherever i need to do so let me go ahead and do that That should allow us to have plenty of room to get to what we need to. I always put the screws back where they go, that way I don't lose them. All right, now that we got all our wiring out of the way, or mostly out of the way, we can go on ahead and remove the alternator. Now what I like to do in the case of some alternators, not all alternators, I'm just showing you guys this because it's easier for you to visualize what's going on. Um, you can see right away that there is one 14 millimeter bolt right here that's holding on the top of the alternator and then there's another bolt that's down on the bottom that I can't show you because it's just buried underneath there. This one up here is a 14 millimeter bolt so any 14 millimeter socket will work just fine and the lower one is actually a 12 millimeter uh, bolt so you'll need obviously uh, some kind of combination of an extension and uh, a socket to get to it. If you just feel down there you, you can feel it pretty easily but the point I'm making here is if you get your new alternator or your used one or whatever it is you're putting on and kind of orient it the same way it is sitting on the car, obviously you can tell that, I mean, it's not exactly perfect, but you get the point. You can see that up here is the 14 millimeter bolt, which is just right there, easy to see. And then if you go on ahead and just come straight down, you'll see that there is another mounting point right there, which is a smaller bolt, which is the 12. So if you kind of just visualize that, you can then go down here and see how to get it off or at least feel for it so just a tip because sometimes you obviously you can't see obviously if you have a mirror or something like that you can look in there but you can you can feel down under there and feel the bolt like I, I can touch it right now with my finger and I know it's right there so it's not too hard to get at so let me go ahead and get the, those two bolts off and then we can pull the alternator out I switched to a shorter ratchet because there's not much room in here. Alright, so here's a lower bolt. Go ahead and take out this upper bolt. should be able to go ahead and get this alternator off like so and there it is okay got the old alternator off another thing that you make sure you want to do before you go ahead and try and install your new alternator is number one make sure that they are the same and they mount the same they got the same plugs before you go on ahead and waste your time trying to put it on so as I mentioned before I don't like using the nuts that come with the new alternators that's just I don't know I just never have I always just use the old ones because they they still always fit or excuse me that's not the right thing this thing I always just stick them on there because I'm just I just like using those and then you want to make sure that you have the correct brackets as you can see this bracket is missing on this one so you got to take this bracket move it over that way it'll hold your wiring harness same for that bolt i just unscrewed up here i'm going to take and put it over here so that way it'll be ready to go when i put the uh, wiring back on so this is held on by one eight millimeter screw right here i just used a wrench you just take and loosen up that screw and get this off and then transfer it over to this side which already has a provision for the screw so let me get those swapped over and then we'll put the alternator back onto the car
I got the alternator back and installed. Bolt two, the, both the bolts are tightened up, so I'm going ahead now and just reconnect the wiring. Remember the one little clip right here at the bottom? Just go ahead and get that guy into place. Snap the clip on. Go ahead and plug up the main charging connector. And you can go on ahead and reattach the charging cable here for the battery. Do make sure you get the prongs correctly positioned and tighten down the 10 millimeter nut. You don't have to go crazy on it, it's just a little piece of plastic. Put the cover back on. Then we can go on ahead and reattach this bracket right here with this one 10 millimeter, just like so. And then you can go on ahead and reconnect this one connector up here on top, like that. And the only thing left to do is to put the belt back on. If you remember, get your 19 millimeter and attach it to the tensioner and then go on ahead and pull your belt back up and around. Make sure that your belt didn't come off of any other pulleys like mine did. hold myself a little bit of tension on that and go on ahead and get this belt back around. This could be the probably a little bit more challenging, but shouldn't be too difficult to do. Just like so. Make sure all the belt, make sure the belt's lined up properly on the other pulleys. This one right here is a little off, so go ahead and push it to the side a little bit. There we go. And now the only thing you want to do is to make sure you go back and reattach your uh, battery connection over there. I'm not going to show you how to do that. Just put it back on and tighten it up with the 10, uh, the 10 millimeter and you should be good to go so i hope this helps you guys out as always if you have any comments or questions just ask them in the comment section below appreciate you guys stopping by to watch the video uh, do hit the like button hit the subscribe button on your way out and i will see you guys on the next one